All right, so now that we're back, we're gonna talk about synthesis and decomposition, okay? So these two reaction types are a little bit more complicated, okay? The idea of them is not too complicated, but predicting the products is a little bit harder, okay? So a synthesis reaction, right? It's a synthesis, just like uh, we would kind of expect. We're putting things together, all right? So elements, essentially two things, come together to form one, right? Elements combine to form a compound. Okay, so let's look at a couple of examples here. We've got aluminum and oxygen, that these two uh, elements are gonna combine. Aluminum is always a plus three. So I know that I'm gonna have aluminum over here as a plus three, Oxygen is always going to be a minus two. So if I've got a plus three and a minus two, my compound is going to be Al2O3. And then for my, my uh, overall reaction to be, uh, un, or to be balanced, I'm gonna have to put a two there. Again, we're gonna talk about balancing reactions next time. All right, now let's look at this. H2 and O2 are gonna combine. H2 and O2, there's a few different compounds that they could combine to. I can think of two of them, but one of them would be H2O, right? Hydrogen would be a plus one, oxygen would be a minus two, okay? So again, for me to balance this, it's gonna be a two in front of that, all right? So our reaction is going to be basically A plus B goes to AB. That's not too complicated, okay? This last one here, for today at least, for now, is a decomposition reaction. Essentially, one thing goes to two, okay? Right, a compound splits. So, this one is a really hard one because our decomposition reactions, really there's lots of options as to what could form but there's a few trends that we oftentimes can identify, okay? So let's look at this first one, barium carbonate. Barium carbonate, carbonates oftentimes break off to form CO2. Well, what else is left? CO2, if I remove CO2 from this, I've got barium still. Barium, I know, is a plus two charge generally. And then I've got, I removed a carbon, I removed two oxygens, I've got one oxygen left, there's my one oxygen, right? So my barium carbonate, right, the carbonate oftentimes kicks off CO2, and I'm left with barium oxide, okay? Let's look at this now, H2O2 splitting up. H2O2, this is a peroxide, right? This is a common, uh, this is a common product. You guys have heard of hydrogen peroxide before, probably. Hydrogen peroxide will form two different things. Both of them actually are not too bad for us, right? We're gonna form H2O, that's not too bad, and oxygen gas. If we know that we've used hydrogen peroxide before, it kind of bubbles when it hits our, our uh, skin, when it hits our, our blood. So it bubbles because it forms O2 gas. So then for me to balance this reaction, I'm gonna put a two there, okay? So now, this last one, bismuth hydroxide. Hydroxides, again, is another ion, this is a polyatomic again, that oftentimes breaks up into something. This often will break up into H2O, okay? So I'm gonna form H2O here, and I'm actually going to be left with, I'm gonna remove all of my hydrogens, and I'm gonna be left with bismuth oxide, so Bi2O3. So then for me to have this balanced, we're gonna have a three there, okay? So again, our decomposition reactions are a little bit hard, but certain polyatomics are gonna break up into certain things like CO2, right? Carbonate to CO2. Or if we can form water, let's form water. Sometimes we might be able to form a gas, like N2 or uh, O2 or H2. Those sometimes will be uh, a product that we see as well, okay? so. Oftentimes, really what this looks like is AB goes to A plus B, okay? 
So that is our types of chemical reactions. We've got one last type, and we'll talk about that later, okay?